Today's slow-mo is from Haydock Racecourse. And we're going to be wrapping up the horsepower. So today, so I would love to see one of these guys, a horse gallop in slow-mo. That sounds fantastic. Who have we got here, Andy? We've got Street Artist. He's a three-year-old colt. So what do you reckon, Si? What are we going to have to use to film this guy? Well, I think we should get the Vampire Batmobile, get some nice tracking shots alongside, maybe in front. Brilliant. Because I'm going to be standing up in this one, I'm going to need a harness just to keep me attached so I don't fly off the back or the sides or anything like that. The horse is also going to be nice and safe, so we're going to shoot on a nice long lens just for that, just to keep our distance so it doesn't spook the horse or the horse doesn't have a chance of coming towards the vehicle. We're just about to go for our first take with the horse, uh, so we're just going down to meet it. It's down at the far end of the paddock. The horse is raring to go, apparently. So that looked amazing, man. It's just so muscly, isn't it? And I mean, we think of horses as four-legged animals, but actually these front legs are effectively arms. So here you've got biceps, elbow, wrist. It's all a bit peculiar, but there's just so much muscle there driving it forward. And you can see they're just hooking into the ground with those hooves, really absolutely caning it. And you can see, I mean, it's much like the same with our Achilles tendons and wrists. They're just hammering a lot of pressure into those fetlocks. Fetlocks basically sort of like the wrists and ankles of a horse, if you like. They've got these really thick tendons and they just store so much elastic energy, they're just like springs, so they're just rotting off. Well, what I'm really interested in actually is the chest, because these guys are, obviously they're big animals and they're moving really, really fast. I think Duncan said that was about 45 miles yeah, an hour, yeah, yeah. which is actually, you know, full tilt. That was proper gallop. <laughs> um, so I'd love to just see how that engine works, really how much air they're getting in, yeah. and see if we can see those ribs moving, which would be sure, great. Sure, yeah, let's do that. Faster. Really cool, yeah. Oh, that looks awesome, man. I think Duncan said that was 40 miles an hour, so that's almost full tilt. We weren't expecting full tilt, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see those ribs heaving out there. I mean, it's looking quite slow there, but actually it's about 140 times a minute. They're breathing in and out. Wow. And taking in about 40 litres of air a second. And what's the human equivalent? Uh, when we're going full tilt, it's about 40 breaths a minute. I mean, it's still quite a lot for a human, I like to think, but nowhere <laughs> near like this guy. That's really a proper impressive. animal design for exercise, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, oh yeah. Their hooves are made of keratin, much like our nails or a rhino horn. So there's a certain amount of flexibility to them, but they're actually also really strong. There's a cushion inside the hoof that is the primary shock absorber when the horse is running around. And then they've got that big surface area on the hoof as well to help spread that impact out. So these guys have had a great race today. Andy, thanks so much. You're a complete star. But it looks like he needs to cool off a bit. So, uh, Sai, so are you ready? Ready out. Great. Horses are fantastic animals and if you liked watching this don't forget to subscribe to Earth Unplugged and we'll see you next time on Slow Mo. And we're going to leave you with a beautiful shot of street artist as he enjoys a well deserved roll around in the sand.